Hello everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand. Welcome to another video. Why I am completely disillusioned with modern medicine and public health. Most people who enter the medical profession do so with very noble intentions. Doctors want to do a good job and serve their patients well. But sadly, years down the line, many physicians, once they've graduated and they're in clinical practice, forget the reasons why they went into medicine in the first place all those years ago. We are stuck in a terrible suboptimal system, let's be honest here. We need to get back to what we should be all about because our current system serves nobody, least of all our patients. I want to go over some reasons, off many, why I am completely disillusioned with modern medicine and public health in particular. Promoting a healthy lifestyle should be the fundamental building block of real public health. This sounds so simple, but it must be the core fundamental building block of public health, promoting and advocating for a healthy lifestyle, because nothing comes before this. Sadly, in 2022, we are stuck in a mentality of thinking that the answer to a lot of society's ailments, whether they are physical or mental, lies in drugs, therapeutics and other interventions. They may have a role, but they are frequently not always the answer. We need to get out of this mentality when we're talking about real public health. Are we really evidence-based and data-driven? It's such a buzzword. It's everywhere. Follow the science, whatever that means. Look at the evidence, look at the statistics. But do we really do that? Now, I would never want to speak against doctors. I think being a doctor is a very tough job. But frequently, doctors are the ones who are not really objectively looking at data and analyzing, critically analyzing data, which is what we should be doing. Our job is not to simply do what's told to us from above. We should break down studies. We should tear apart data and think about certain things. If we are recommending any medical therapeutic or any other intervention, then we should know the true data and statistics behind them. What is the absolute risk reduction? What is the number needed to treat? These are very basic things. And doctors, whether or not intellectual laziness is also creeping in, maybe it is, frequently don't know the answers to this themselves. They are just following protocol. That is not good because nothing comes before real data and following evidence when it comes to medicine. Our institutions are heavily under the influence of financial conflicts of interest from industry including Big Pharma and other big business. Too many big institutions and organizations have unacceptable financial conflicts of interest with big business. Healthcare has become corrupted, make no mistake about it. Frequently other agendas are creeping in, in addition to money, but money is the big one, and let's call it what it is, it is corruption. I so wish follow the money wasn't true, but it is the most true thing. Often when it comes to healthcare, follow the money. Not acceptable and not the way things should be. Complete ignorance of our metabolic health crisis. We are in the midst of a true metabolic health crisis. With each passing year, the number of people who are classed as metabolically healthy is getting lower and lower. Some estimates suggest that in our country, it's less than 20% of people. Some people say it's less than 15%. If that is not a disaster, then I don't know what is a public health disaster. Now, there are a number of reasons for this, including a lack of societal focus, a lack of awareness of nutritional health science, and complete neglect by our public health authorities. This colossal metabolic health pandemic needs to be addressed urgently. We are being bankrupted by chronic reversible lifestyle-related diseases which are soaring, causing immeasurable suffering and escalating healthcare costs. We need immediate national policy proposals to address this. Let me tell you some shocking statistics. We spend over $1 trillion a year in the United States on chronic lifestyle-related diseases, and about half of these are believed to be completely preventable through lifestyle. At the same time, we have soaring rates of obesity. Rates have tripled in the last few decades. Childhood obesity, once unheard of, is going off the charts. Rates of illnesses such as diabetes are exploding. At the same time, we have an escalating mental health crisis. In 2020, rates of emergency room visits for children with mental health crisis were up 20 to 30% from the year before, and the pattern is no better in adults. 
alcohol consumption is going up and has been for the last couple of years. And at the same time, the junk food industry is spending $5 billion a year on advertising junk food and $5 million a day on targeting children. We need to reverse this ship. We are heading in completely the wrong direction with chronic preventable lifestyle related diseases. And it may be a bonanza for the bottom line of big pharma and big food, but it's not good for us. Physicians are significantly undertrained in promoting public health, well being, and lifestyle medicine. Medical schools everywhere need to make diet, nutrition, and general well being a core part of their curriculum. No excuses. We have lost our way with our general healthcare and medical philosophy, and this needs to be reversed ASAP. We are heading in completely the wrong direction, make no mistake about that. We are forgetting what we're supposed to be about in healthcare, and everything keeps getting worse. With each passing year, healthcare gets more and more difficult for millions and millions of people. Costs are escalating, many people can't afford their prescription medications, and millions of people can't even find a primary care physician. And when they do find a doctor, that doctor doesn't have enough time with them, frequently due to bureaucratic requirements. It's going downhill, and it's going downhill very fast indeed. So what can we do about it? Well, one of the first things is we have to focus on what we're supposed to be all about. The days of putting band-aids on things and forgetting to address root causes needs to end because that's what we're all about now in healthcare. We put band-aids on problems and our whole philosophy is looking at temporary short fixes to things which are not going to work. That's why things keep getting worse. So those are some of the many reasons that I am completely disillusioned with modern medicine and healthcare. Western medicine is completely lost and I hope we get back on track soon, but it's going to take a lot to do that. Thank you everybody for listening. Dr. Sunil Dan, do hit the subscribe button down below if you like this video for more similar videos. You can also follow me on my other channel and please do subscribe if you haven't already to my newsletter. The link is down below. Unfortunately, with the current environment of corruption in media and also US big tech, we are somewhat censored and constrained in what we can talk about, which is absolutely disgraceful. But my newsletter and other ways of staying in touch with me make it possible for us to talk about things that we wouldn't otherwise be able to talk about in this environment. Thank you everybody again, Dr. Sunil Dand. We are going to talk again very soon.